What's up? It's back. Play your faces, tattoos, and shoes. And guess what, y'all? This time I'm gonna finish it. Starting off with Chicago Bulls NBA 2K14. Y'all know who that is. It's Derrick Rose. And yes, y'all can start talking all the jokes y'all want to talk about about sitting out the entire season and all that. Hey, it happens. You know, a lot of people, Bulls fans, talking about they mad. I even read something that saw. A Chicago Bulls fan was suing Derrick Rose for missing the season. People are nuts, man. Really? People acting like Derrick Rose owes them something personally. Like he borrowed $20 from them and he kept telling them he didn't have it because he tore his ACL. It ain't, man. Derrick Rose got to take care of himself. You understand? And he got to take care of his family. Yes, I'm a Bulls fan through and through, and I would love to have seen him play. But if the man say he ain't ready, the man say he ain't ready. You know what I'm saying? We can't go and do all that. You know what I mean? It's, you know, then people like, man, you let your teammates go out there and play. Come on, man. Really? Teammates weren't saying nothing. People was like trying to put words in their mouth. Nice new jumpers, though. The Rose 4s are hot. That's really only the new thing in terms of the uh, player model there. Most of the player models did not change for NBA 2K14, but that's neither here nor there. Actually, for me, at least on current gen, now if we look at next gen and it looks like this, then you'll hear me do, uh, you know, really act up. This is Joaquin Noah, if you didn't know that, which I'm sure you do. Uh, and, you know, Joaquin, Joaquin seems like a guy who have a lot of tech, don't he? But he just don't. Now, he wears, I believe he wears Leacock Sportif. These are the new pro wings. And if y'all remember or have been watching, I know I got a lot of new subscribers, but people who have been down with me know about player faces, tattoos, and shoes. And y'all know I usually say pro wings when we get some generic gym shoes. We might not do that this time. This is Luol Dang. This is what I do want to start. This is a tradition I want to start with this season of player faces, tattoos, and shoes. Is there are some people that should have got a a rescan. Their faces should have been rescanned. Maybe they should have got a rescan because it just don't look like them. Maybe they got a rescan. Should got a rescan because the picture make them look so ugly. It's just hard to look at. That might be the case. Whatever. People need it. So I want to keep a list of people who need a rescan. This is Carlos Boozer. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Carlos a little bit again, but yeah, we want to keep a list of people who need a rescan. Also. When we look at the faces when they come up, let's see if I can come up with what it looks like is probably on this guy's mind when the picture comes up. Like, what is he saying? What thought did you catch him in the middle of when this picture was taken? So we're taking a look at the tattoos for Boozer. I think those are his kids' names or right here on his wrist or whatever. He's heavily tatted up. But Boozer, man, you know Boozer is like the favorite whipping boy for guys in Chicago. The Bulls lose, they blame him. If he had 28 and 10, nobody says nothing. They just like, mm, Boozer, mm, whatever. It's crazy, man, how that goes. But this first dude that need a rescan. This is Jimmy Butler, believe it or not. This is the same player model from last year. I don't know what's going. This ain't that ain't Jimmy Butler, man. Jimmy Butler got the uh, the cornbread afro and everything. Now this is not Jimmy Butler. This is like uh, Jonathan Butler or somebody. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Um, but he looked like a, a confused teenage girl on here And I don't understand why that's the case But that's what it is Taj Gibson This is not I'll, I mean it's the same player model But I, I I don't have a problem with this Some I heard I think I read somebody talking about Do, do Taj Gibson over I mean for what You know That's the one thing I was telling people man People keep saying it looks the same It looks the same Dude we are at the end of the current gen console. I mean, there this system is maxed out, man. There ain't nothing else from a graphical standpoint that's going to change in these games. The player models are gonna look the way they look. Kirk Henry. Looking, you know, it's sharp. They got it. You know, this is one of my favorite bulls of all time. But I mean, people like it looks the same. It looks the same. Dude, I have I've been playing this game for over a week, okay? The gameplay is anything. But the same. I mean, the gameplay is just that good that it is worth a purchase. So you get a lot of people ask me, should I buy this? Well, I can't really tell you that. The Czar tweeted something today. Somebody asked him a question. It's like, tell me honestly, 
should I purchase this game? And he had the answer that I think everybody should have. He said, man, that's a question you got to answer for yourself. I can't tell you whether or not you should buy something. You went to work and got that money, dog. I can't tell you if you should spend it. Mike Dunleavy Jr. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't answer that question. But, you know, but as far as I would say, man, if you like realistic basketball, uh, this is, there has never been a simulation that plays this realistic. And that's just on the real. That's just completely real. Uh, there hasn't been one. So this is ridiculous in that. That is Marquise T. Now let's talk about the expressions on the face. Don't he look like he just like, well, they said I ain't couldn't have none. I asked for some gummy bears. They said I couldn't have none. Well, and he just got that look on his chest. He just, you know, they said Derrick Rose coming back. Well, guess I ain't going to be playing too much. Well, that's what's that's what's on Marquise's mind. But you know what? Marquise has had some money off for a while anyway. I mean, his brother's in the league. You know, he should be eating. Should have been eating. So uh, he, he he may or may not, unless Derrick Rose get hurt. I mean, that, oh, I don't even mean to say that. Slap myself. Blah, blah. I want to say, unless Kirk Heinrich goes down or something, I can't see Marquise T playing a lot. That is Nazi Muhammad. He was like, he about to say, y'all smell that? Somebody got some egg rolls. Is that egg rolls? Who, who are the Chinese food? That's what he just looked. That's just the flared nose. Looks like he's about to say that. You know, I'm the huge Bulls fan, but y'all probably know I also love LeBron. In the series, in the playoff series, man, this past uh, postseason, when dude pushed LeBron down, man, I was like, man, now you know y'all going straight going style. Man, them Kevin Durant's are ugly. All oh, those are horrible. But, I mean, I'm like, you know you're going goon style. Y'all better than that. Yeah. Oh, my Jesus, help us today. Help us, Lord, throw it up. Oh, boy. Yeah. Ha. Man. That Tony Snell looked like a uh, 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 somebody snuck in Venus Williams' room and took a picture of her as soon as she woke up. Pick up. Tony, Tony Snell, Venus Williams. Venus, Tony Snell, Williams. I don't know. Man. Put him on the list. He's the second person that needs to order a rescan. I mean, because and it might not even help, but just do it anyway. It's like exercise your right to just get a get a rescan. The shoes is dope. They ain't them hot, but woo wee, man, Eric Murphy. Why is he? He look like a strung out obsession cologne model or something. I don't know what his neck. Why is his neck long like that? His neck ain't that long, dude. Actually, he's kind of muscular. I don't know. He on the he on the fence of should he order a rescan of his of himself because he may be in need of one. I don't know. That's Eric Murphy though. Let's look at these shoes. I'm pretty sure they ain't hitting on nothing. He is generic. At least they changed them there though. That's pretty decent. That's this episode of Player Faces Tattoos and Shoes. I am going to finish this. Especially because, man, I owe it to y'all. And I appreciate all my subscribers and everybody that's been checking for me, staying with me all this time. Y'all subscribe, follow, 